Hi everyone, let's talk about case auto response rules. An auto response rule lets you automatically send email responses to your case submissions people based on record attributes. For example, you can send an automatic reply to customers to let them know that somebody at your company has received their inquiry and is working on it. This only goes to the person who has submitted the case. And a case auto response rule can be triggered by a web to case submission, an email to case submission, or a customer portal case submission. You can activate only one rule for cases at a time, and your team can see the email responses in the activity history related list on the contact or the lead, and in the email related list on cases. Now the rules will process all of the entries in order. The rules will stop processing at the first matching entry and then Salesforce is going to send the email using the specified email template. If no auto response rules apply, then Salesforce will send an email using the default template that's been specified on the web to case settings page. If you want to create an error proof rule, always create the last rule entry with no criteria. This is essentially a catch all and it's going to make sure that it's catching all of the cases that the previous rule entries did not. This practice is especially important for email to case or on demand email to case, which don't have default templates.